I reject someone, guys. It happens sometimes. Um, and this was also kind of like where some of the first red signs started to pop up for me that I kind of felt like maybe I'm not as interested in him as he is in me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a Fella Friday video. So Fella Friday, for those of you who don't know, is the series on my channel where I talk about a different type of fella or boy each Friday that I've encountered in my dating life. So yeah, today's Fella Friday is about the rejected guy. After last week's episode where I talked about, you know, guys insulting me, guys rejecting me, I thought it was time to share a story where I reject someone, guys. It happens sometimes. So this story takes us back to October 2017 or like September. It was fall of 2017 at least. It was the beginning of my second year of college, my second year of medical school. And I met this boy on Tinder, let's call him Carl. So me and Carl hit it off, we were talking, you know, flirting, and I was like, you seem like an interesting guy, let's hang out. So we decided to grab a drink, and it was a really great first date, um, we had a really good time, and at a certain point I was like, oh, I need to go home, so we got to check, and this was where the first issue occurred. So Carl was like, I'll pay, which a lot of guys do, which I really like appreciate, but I'm the type of girl who's always like, no, like let's split it, like you know, like I'm fine paying for my own drinks, I don't want it to seem like I'm like mooching off a guy, so I told him like, no, 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 like let me pay, and he was like, no, like you need to let me pay, so I was like, hey, okay, if you really want to pay, like I don't mind, so he paid, and after that we went out a couple more times, went to grab drinks, um, and had like good time and I think we had like four or five dates until like the last date we went on so we decided to go to the movies and he came and picked me up in his car he was very chivalrous it was very nice and this was like the first point that I paid for something so I was kind of like feeling better because I had ordered the movie tickets so I paid for us so he decided to end up getting like the popcorn and stuff because he was still very much like I need to pay each date which is really sweet but like he really didn't have to do and what happened was we went to go see the hitman's bodyguard good movie by the way um and this was also kind of like where some of the first red signs started to pop up for me that i kind of felt like maybe i'm not as interested in him as he is in me he um was like very much during the whole movie trying to make out which like i'm okay with a kiss here and there like you know, I'm not a prude, but like I'm in a movie theater, I'm not 16 anymore. Like I used to, like, you know, when I was in high school, go on dates to the back of the movie theater and like make out the whole movie. But you know, I'm an adult, like I want to watch the movie, you know? I'm not just like there to just kiss. Um, so I was already kind of like, ugh, like, no, like just calm down. Um, another thing that was kind of weird about him was my gym used to be where his like college was. And every time, like, like I would go to the gym sometimes and I'd like text him like, hey, how are you? Or like, hey, what are you doing? And I'd be like, oh, I'm on my way to the gym. And he'd always be like, oh my God, like I'm at school. Can I come kiss you? And I'd kind of be like, dude, we've had like three dates. Like I'm going to the gym, just let me work out. Like it's cool. So that was already also kind of like a red flag that he was more interested in me than I was in him. But he was definitely like a sweet guy. Like Carl, you know, he was doing the right things, but I just wasn't feeling it yet. So after the movie, I was kind of like, mm, okay, like, you know, maybe I need to break stuff off with him. Um, so we get back to the parking garage, we pay the parking ticket, and we go into his car, and he's going to drive me home. And this was also, like, kind of one of those parking garages where you pay your ticket, and you have, like, 15 minutes to leave, or you have to, like, pay again. So he, like, kept kissing me in the car, kissing me in the car, and I was like, you know, looking at my watch, like, dude, it's time to go, like, you're gonna have to pay the parking ticket again, and I kind of just wanted to get out of there, because I wanted to, like, end things, so I was like, uh, like, I just kept being like, hey, like, Carl, don't you think we need to go, because otherwise, like, your car, you know, you're gonna have to pay again, he's like, I don't care about the parking ticket, baby, yeah, I feel like all these videos are me saying I should have been more assertive, I should have been more assertive, so I should have been like, Carl, like, come on, we need to go. Or I should have just told him I wasn't interested in pursuing a third relationship with him. But guess what I did? I didn't tell him that. So finally he's done with his car makeout and we like end up leaving. We had, you know, we have to just like leave because otherwise we'd have to pay an extra parking ticket. And he drops me off at home. And I think the next day or a couple days later, he texts me like, hey, Lo, I had a really good time. I would love to like hang out this weekend. 
So at this point, I'm like, okay, I don't want to string this guy along. I'm not interested in pursuing a further relationship with him. He's a great guy, but I just don't feel the spark. It's just not there for me. So I text him and I say, hey, Carl, I had a really good time as well. I just wanted to let you know that I don't really feel like there's a spark between us. So I don't really think I don't want to waste your time or my time in trying to pursue a further relationship. I'm sorry. Love, Lois. I don't know. I, my phone crashed after this like in during this period in like fall of that year so i don't have any of the text messages which i wish i did because i could have been like hey guys look look what i actually wrote but i don't but he responded something like oh well can we just have sex then and i was like excuse me so he thought i meant like oh i'm not interested in pursuing a relationship but like let's just hook up but like i said before there was no spark for me i didn't want to hook up with this guy so i said Oh, I'm sorry. I think you might have misunderstood. I'm just really not interested in like seeing each other again. Um, again, good luck. I'm sorry. And then he replied, which this was the biggest shocker of all. He's like, well, since you're a millionaire, at or, at or no, he said something like, since you're a millionaire and since I didn't get any sex, can you um, pay me back for all the drinks that I bought you? This boy, first of all, I'm not a millionaire. I'm a medical school student. I don't know what he was thinking. Second of all, are you serious? Because I didn't have sex with you, I need to pay back your drinks. The drinks that I offered to pay all along because I didn't want you to get any misconceptions about what was going on. So I wrote back to this boy. I said, um, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I signed a contract when you bought me drinks, but I had to sleep with you. Second of all, next time when a girl offers to pay, maybe let her. And he just replied like, ha 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 so weird i was kind of like freaked out by this because he just like wrote like three messages saying ha 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 and i was like at like different times during the day and i was like this guy knows where i live like he picked me up in his car like what if he like stalks me i don't know i was like kind of freaking out um but i don't know i guess yeah, i didn't hear from him again afterwards um except like three months later he texted me hey kissy face and i just never replied because i was like you're weird so I think this guy did not take his rejection in stride, guys. I feel like for guys and girls, like rejection is a matter of dating. Trust me, I've reje been rejected a hundred times probably. I like to just think about it this way. There's 7 billion people in the world. Not everybody is gonna be interested in you and, or like you. It has nothing to do with you. It's just not everyone's gonna be your match and that's okay. Um, but I do think it's important that if you do get rejected, like it's a natural part of life, take it in stride and take it with pride. So don't get pissed. Don't try to like ask for your money for drinks back. Ask to like fuck. You know, if someone's just not interested in you, be respectful of that. Say, okay, I'm sorry to hear that, but I understand. Bye. I don't know, guys. It was just very weird. I don't know. It's just like the fact that it would even like come up in his head to ask back for money for drinks and i guess like now after this experience i've been a lot more adamant like even if a guy is insisting to pay i'll be like no no no, seriously like i'll pay i don't want anybody to like get any wrong ideas and it, it sucks but it is this way but just because a guy buys you a drink or a girl buys you a drink does not mean you have to sleep with them at all but some people do get this in their head but that's like true which it isn't at all so never feel pressured because someone paid for something and if you really want to like avoid these situations pay for your own stuff on the first couple dates so yeah, I don't know guys, this was just a weird experience. I guess like, I guess I kind of like that I got the show but I rejected someone once because you know, I feel like a lot of these videos are just me being really sad, but hey, I'm here to show you the trials and tribulations of my dating life and I hope you guys enjoyed that. So let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Um, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Friday with a new fellow Friday and usually on Monday and Tuesdays with like a different type of video or vlog So I hope to see you guys again soon